Hello everybody, this is Vesa Yuvran from Microsoft and in this video we're looking into how we can create a HTML quick views for Viva Connection ACES. So our topic of today is really development and pro developer focused thing and this capability is part of the SharePoint framework 1.20. So 1.20 beta uh, is coming out in uh, late uh, August and whenever you're watching this video there might have been already GA or there might have been new versions on top of this but in this video we're going to do a quick intro on how we can create those HTML quick views uh, as a baseline setup uh, and then uh, getting familiar with those required changes within the ACE development. As said, this is a pro developer video so we're going to do some code but you'll also see the different capabilities and opportunities which are available as we start uh, to use or as we use this new opportunity as an HTML quick view. Now, previously, ACES as in adaptive cards, uh, adaptive card extensions uh, for Viva Connection uh, and for SharePoint uh, have only supported adaptive card uh, quick views and quick views is the one which is getting actually visible. You're doing something in a card, uh, you want to have a full screen view or a larger view within a card from a functionality perspective, that is a quick view. And quick view from a name perspective implies that it's a quick view for the actual application. So it could be a quick view for a larger Microsoft Teams solution, it could be a quick view for your LOB solution, and you really show the relevant quick operations in that quick view. As said previously, a quick view can be only be implemented as an adaptive card implementation, but starting with SharePoint Framework 1.20, you are actually able to take HTML into account as well as a new option, not a replacement. So adaptive card still remains to be an option here, uh, and HTML is just a new option. Now, we do actually have even an out-of-the-box ACE, which is using the HTML uh, quick view option uh, already today. So let's actually jump in the screen and have a look on how does that look like, and then we'll create our own new HTML quick view uh, using Visual Studio Code. So here uh, is a imaginary uh, company dashboard. Uh, we have nice looking card, uh, chart cards and all of that stuff, but the key point in this particular demo is really the my recent files and this is the out of the box files ace or onedrive ace which is raising the recent files you've been accessing so it's using microsoft craft behind of the scenes um, and accessing the recent uh, operations what we're using and this ace actually uh, which is a first party out of the box ace implementation is using the HTML quick view uh, operation. Um, and basic idea here is that you have more flexibility in the layouts. You can use React, you can use whatever also uh, uh, frameworks within the implementation. So you can imagine um, that even for the mobile experiences, you're able to start using React components uh, for more advanced experiences within this uh, quick view uh, experience. And again, quick views, uh, are really intended to be the quick access for operations or quick access for the information or uh, quick operations towards the application behind the scenes. And then when you need to do something extra, like operate the individual files, you can access that application. Like in this case, we're clicking open OneDrive, where we have much more additional operation. Main idea here is uh, that when you are on the go, for example, within your mobile, you can easily access the relevant information, relevant operations through the dashboard, which are relevant for you. And then as needed, you can transition to the actual application for further, for more advanced operations. Okay, cool. So that's my recent files. That's out of the box uh, uh, ACE, which have been created, which is using HTML quick view. So how do we do this in practice? Now, I'm going to use a, a SharePoint Framework 1.20, a dev version. This is an internal dev version as I'm recording this a bit earlier than the beta goes out, but I'm going to call out the differences uh, as well. So, but the experience is still the same as uh, as uh, we are using uh, the Viva Connection, uh, uh, sorry, SharePoint Framework uh, 1.20 beta. So first of all, Let's actually have a look on and creating this practice. So let me create me uh, a, a new project. So let's actually do that, uh, MKDR, and let's call this uh, cool quick view, CD cool quick view. So let's jump in there and let me actually a bit increase the font so you can see what's actually happening here. So how do we create that initial solution? Let me close the settings, that's not needed. Uh, so let me do a yo Microsoft uh, SharePoint. 
using the human generator and as we start using the HTML quick view, we're going to use a, any of the out of the box uh, ACE default projects and then we're going to modify that based on the business requirement. So we do not have a default template in the Yeoman generator uh, automatically at least in a 1.20 beta level. It might be there in the future depending again on your feedback. Uh, here one thing to call out, uh, I am using a 1.20 dev version, you cannot access the dev versions, but this is already super, super close on the beta version, which is Buckwick. Uh, so just to call that out, so I'm not uh, causing any confusion on that. So we're going to call it quick, uh, cool quick view. We're going to say uh, select the adaptive card extension as what we're creating. It doesn't really matter what which one we're choosing here. It's more as a starting point. So let's use the generic one and let's call this uh, my cool HTML view. And that's going to then start the project uh, scaffolding and running the NPM install process as well. Let's actually speed up the video now uh, until the NPM installation process is completed. Excellent. Now the project has been uh, provisioned um, and we are good to go with the, with the uh, modifications within the code. So let's actually do that. So I'm going to start my Visual Studio code within this project. There we go. And let's actually zoom in on that a bit so we can actually see what's available. So first of all, obviously it's an SPFX solution and uh, no special things there if you're familiar with the solution. And if we go and have a look on, we do have an adaptive card here called Michael HTML view. Right now we're talking and focused on the quick view experience, which is here. And we can actually see that currently the quick view is based on this template JSON um, and that's what is being rendered. So this is adaptive card powered uh, uh, quick view, but starting with 1.20, beta first and then within the GA, uh, you are able to create uh, HTML powered quick views as a new option. So how do we actually do that? Well, first of all, we need to in, uh, uh, import here that HTML, base HTML quick view because that is the new base class uh, what we're going to use. And we do not need to have uh, adaptive cart uh, interface and the base adaptive card quick view. So let's get rid of those. And then we need to update uh, the base class here, which is the base HTML quick view, done. And then we need to update uh, this, uh, the constructor of that one uh, to match these things. And there we go. Now we actually have a, a nice quick view uh, on these things. However, we can see that the non-abstract class quick view does not implement inherited abstract member render from the class page HTML quick view. So that's not a problem. Let's actually do a quick fix on that one. Um, and we basically implement that inherited class. And then we can see what was missing, missing uh, here. And what actually was missing uh, was the render method. So this works exactly the same way as within the HTML uh, or uh, SPFX web parts. So you're able to render in the DOM element uh, and we're able to modify this to actually uh, have that uh, included. We're going to do that in a second. Um, this template uh, section in here is no longer needed uh, and of course we don't have that interface so let's actually get rid of that because that is not getting called. So the engine itself will realize that oh this is an HTML uh, quick view so therefore I will render it a bit differently rather than using that after card way of rendering. Cool. What else do we actually need to do? So first of all, uh, let's actually adjust uh, the render a bit. I'm going to actually copy my HTML structure uh, from another example. Uh, so I'm going to move in here and then I'm going to paste that in. Um, so what we're going to do here is basically a render kind of a similar kind of an HTML output as with out of the box web parts. Um, so we're going to use then stylings, we're going to render an image inside of there, we're going to do other things as well. But we need to address obviously this missing styles and escapes and all of that. So let's do that. Uh, so first of all, uh, I will include the escape uh, in. So we are matching with the basic uh, layout structure. There we go. So that is available in there. And then we have this style, which is basically uh, a SAS definitions how we are rendering things. So let's then actually create uh, our SAS uh, definition. So let me go in the quick view folder and let me add here and let me actually do this and add a new file 
and let's add a, a quick view and um, module CSS. This is the new file which I added actually in uh, and renamed that based on the quick view. Now, in my case, I'm going to just copy paste again a, a nice styling there. Uh, so we just import uh, using the imports from the uh, SP Fabric Core CSS uh, or SP Office UI Fabric Core. Now, by default in the Adaptive Card Solutions, and we do not have the SP Office UI Fabric Core uh, included. So therefore, we need to add that one in. Um, and that means that we need to include that within the project. So now if we go to the package JSON, uh, notice again, I'm running a dev version of 120, super close on 120 beta. If for your case, it's saying 120 uh, or it's saying 120 beta or release candidate in there. But we're missing currently uh, the the uh, depend dev dependency or dependency here for the SP Office UI Fabric Core. So let's actually add that one in. I'm going to just open up a terminal and I'm going to run npm install uh, Microsoft SP Office UI Fabric Core, and that's going to then add that dependency in. So uh, we're able to use that SAS uh, definitions, and those are getting rendered properly when we're doing the packaging of the code. Cool, cool, cool. Installation uh, completed. So we can see that's being listed now on the package JSON. And now that means that this one here is re uh, resolving properly which is great. And then that means that we're able to import uh, the styles object uh, directly within this project. So let's actually do that. So let's do here import. Let's actually get rid of the, the terminal. We don't actually need that for now. Import uh, styles. Writing is always so hard when somebody's watching, um, and it's actually offering me the uh, offering me the the different uh, options. But let me actually write that uh, in here. Quick view module CS uh, CS. SCSS. There we go. And we're missing that uh, from the ending as well. So the, um, the copilot is trying to help me here, um, and which was actually the what we could see in the in the predictive uh, description. But I just wrote it there because it might be that you don't actually have the copilot uh, helper uh, w uh, within your case. Now. In this particular case, it's still saying uh, underneath or saying that it cannot resolve that. This is because it has not yet been bundled. Um, so we can actually resolve that by again, opening up our terminal and do a one gallop uh, bundle. And that also double checks that everything is uh, working properly. Uh, and it will then resolve that quick view module CSS, uh, SCSS file uh, properly. We can say that going away uh, from here. And if everything is fine, uh, the requirements are working uh, properly. However, forget about one thing. Now, I'm running a, a 120 version, uh, which still have this a bit of an uh, interesting uh, misleading uh, exception handling. I do have a require or a dependency, which is not resolving. And that's why I'm actually getting this, this object object. Um, and that's rated uh, on, the, on the resolving, not actually, or the dependency is not getting resolved properly. The reason why I'm actually getting that is in here, uh, we do have a require for assets folder and a welcome light BNB, uh, BNG. So let's actually do and create that. So let me create a folder, which is assets. And then let me actually copy uh, that uh, image from another location to that folder. So we, ha we have that one available. And here we go. Uh, it's actually getting then rendered within the quick view. Cool. So that's now available. We have the styling. Uh, we have the welcome light PNG over there in the assets folder. Uh, we have all of those dependencies properly resolving. Let's do here CLS uh, and run this one more time. Call bundle. And let's see that it's actually working properly or bundling properly. And then we'll actually host it or test it uh, in the online workbench. Web back running. And there we go. We know that it's now bundling or packaged properly. And that means then means that we are able to do a call up serve. I'm going to do a call up serve no, uh, no browser because I don't want any browser to get started in here. I'm, I'm going to go to the online workbench uh, within my browser automatically. 
cool, cool, cool. The local server is now running and serving, which is great. And everything is fine. Oop, that is exactly the location where I wanted to go. So let me go in here. Let me then go to the SharePoint. And let me go to the actual workbench. Workbench.aspx. Uh, just zooming in. So the workbench is a location where we can do online testing and for the locally hosted code super easily. We could actually do this in a live dashboard as well if needed. But um, in here, when we load the workbench, it's able to detect that we are running the local host and therefore we can serve the files from the local host. So now if I come here, I can see my cool HTML uh, view, uh, quick view, uh, or my HTML ace. And we didn't change anything in the cart view, so that looks like the, the default thing. But now if I click the quick view, let's go to the preview mode. And if I click the quick view, we can actually see that we are rendering the HTML directly within the quick view. And again, we can use React, we can use jQuery, we can use whatever is your chosen JavaScript uh, framework if needed. Uh, there's, the, you, it can be dynamic. All of that option is available uh, within the HTML quick views. In this case, we simply use this relatively simple layout, uh, which is familiar for those who ever created SharePoint framework web parts using SharePoint framework. So that's actually all we wanted to do within this demo, a uh, pretty long demo actually, but I wanted to go through all of the different steps uh, and showcase how do we start using those HTML uh, quick views. And of course, we're always looking for feedback. This one was recorded uh, using the 1.20 beta, well, technically internal dev version, but super close to 1.20 beta. Uh, we're always looking for feedback. So please use the SP DevDocs issue list for reporting any issues uh, uh, which you can find in the 1.20 and let us know how we can improve uh, the platform. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.